Hello, Bia friends. As we come online to pass information, that is how we've been doing it the time of Unnam Dekano. We know how we've been doing it until Unnam Dekano was vindicated. And the same thing we have come to do again until people will understand the activities of Simon Eber. This is not a matter of where do you belong and where you don't belong. What matters now is who understand the game going on. This is the thing that matters. I put a video there where you can watch all the documentary which Mazen Namdekano has with the Simon Eber. A lot of people have missed track in this struggle. A lot of people are not really following. People miss track. They go on preaching that Simon Eber is wearing golden shoe. He is living in a golden house. He is drinking with a golden cup. They forgot the struggle which they come up with. They forgot everything. Now I am trying to make it easy for you to collide your brain back again. There is the, this, the video of Simon Eber and the Mazen Namdekano is pinned up there. It will take you only two hours, 18 minutes, five seconds to recall back your memory. Those of you who is thinking that Mazen Namdekano will reject Simon Eba, I am standing here today to tell you that you are lying. Mazen Namdekano will open his hands wide and he receive Simon Eba. Embrace him with everything he has. Because Simon Eba understand the struggle. My prayer is that nothing will make ever make Nam Dekano to go against Simon Eba in this struggle. It will never happen. Instead, that one will happen. May this heaven and earth pass away. Those of you who is thinking that Nam Dekano will come and fight Simon Eba, let me tell you some expo. When Nam Dekano made videos, he will do audio video. Then Simon Eba will do practical of it. He will go inside and show you how terrorist is entering the country. Until he revealed to everybody the presence of terrorists in Nigeria in the name of Gumi. If Simon Eba can review such a thing and nobody have come up to challenge him and we see Gumi after, after uh, Simon Eba reviewed that he is the president of terrorists in Nigeria. Then Bugumi came up and tell you people that he, he know where they camp and the video is there. What makes you think that Nnam uh, Khan will come up to fight Simon Eber? All these revelations he is doing. What makes you think that Nnam Khan will come up and fight Simon Eber? They say, give him slot. You refuse to give him slot. And then Nam Dekanu knows what he has with Simon Eba. Also, Nam Dekanu knows his discussion with Simon Eba, which he don't want to he have not been able to finish before his rendition. If you watch the video, he told Simon Eba, it is not important who run into the promised land. What is important is if we finally get ourselves inside the promised land. 
Ojuku started this race. I tried to explain. This thing is like a relay race. It is like a relay. A relay race is when you run. You give you the stick to another person. The other person will continue until the victory will be won. It doesn't matter who finished their last race. Simon Eber can never beat the history of Nam de Kano in Biafra struggle. Ojuku started this race. Ojuku snatched out the treasure out of the hands of the enemies. In 1967, he ran with it. The enemies are pursuing him until he got tired. He handed the treasure over to Owazirike. Owazirike took the treasure and began to run under Masob. When he got tired, he refused to move, refused to hand over. Nam de Kano autopiloted himself. Do you hear the language now? Autopiloted himself out of Masov under Owazurike. In actual sense, Nam de Kano is the founder of autopilot. He is the founder of autopilot because autopilot simply means that when you have idea, trying to explain the idea to your so-called leader, then your leader fail to understand your idea, fail to pay attention to your idea. Then what else do you have to do is to autopilot yourself and begin to preach just like we are doing now. Mazin Nam de Kanu knows that they have sold him and they have sold the struggle. If you go down my page where I am packing some history, you will see his prophecies where he said, It doesn't matter how much you took to destroy and frustrate this struggle, to sabotage this struggle. It doesn't matter how much you take, but after you have collected that money, you will end up fighting for the same thing which you have collected money to sabotage. Now, all the people being pointed hands at, you see all of them fighting for the same thing, all of them sabotaged. Nobody has not been sabotaging, and nobody is not a suspect of corruption in Biafran land. Are you people getting this thing? But what are you trying to tell me? That you sack me from meeting because I told you allow me to listen to the point which Simon Eba is raising up. If it is up to me to share the program, I will share it. For me to have it in my memory. In order for me to testify how the Biafran race is being run. And from that you sack people who is there to tell you what is really going on in Biafra struggle? Because power has been handed over to you. You begin to abuse the power being handed over to you. That's why you keep on sacking people. My own sack has been on the table even to the time of, uh, even to the time they sacked to Wasofia, Gogosin Okonkwo, Paul Achebe, and the, all the rest of them inside the chamber of autopilot today my own sanction has been in table my own discussion has been in table just because i am trying to pass this information you people should understand that in nam de kanu told simon Eber, it doesn't matter who run inside that promised land the what matters is did we get there and after all, all of us will come and celebrate. It is a relay race. Owa, Ojuku started it. Owazirike run it. Mazin Nandekanu made a mighty velocity. Till today now, who is doing what pleases the minds of the people? Call and make your own normal investigation on the street. The people will volunteer to defend Everybody will tell you that Simon Eber is serving the interests of the people. Give him slot because Nam the Kanu knows what he can do. 
I am standing here now telling you that if Mazin now, if, if you would have given Simon Eba the slot, which our leader ordered you people to give to him, all this attack will not rise. Since I have my own sanction and my own suspension, I am standing here to defend myself, to keep the message straight. I am standing here to keep the message straight. Give him slot for him to lead. Because Simon Eba, go to Gogol. If, if the one I'm telling you is not enough, go to Gogol. Gogol will tell you about Simon Eba. His net worth is more than $4 million. Simon is also a prince. He left everything he has and they joined in Nam de Kano for this struggle. And what is his own agenda? He said he wants to be part of those who fight for the liberation of Biafra. One simple good is what everyone is looking for. That's why we are here to testify what we see. And for this reason, you don't have right to tell me, don't share the message of Simon Eber. You don't have right to tell me, don't comment in his program. You don't have right to present Simon Eber as enemy in front of general meeting. It doesn't happen. And when they ask you your reason, you say that Simon is drinking with a golden cup. That Simon is wearing golden shoe. That Simon is, is a wearing golden suit. Simon Eba has been wearing golden suit. He has been living in a golden house. He has been drinking with a golden cup. Up to Nam De Kano in, in, had interview with him. If you want to see how he dressed the day he had interview with Mazen Namdekano, uh, um, Ayaba, the president of uh, of um, Ambazonia, it is on my profile now. Go there and see his body up, how he built up. Mazen Namdekano see all this thing. He saw all this thing. Then he endorsed Simon Eber to come and they run this race with him. Simon Eber volunteered himself to come and run this race. And let me tell you people that we are keeping record. After the burial of the parents of Mazen Nam de Kano in 14th February, I think 2000, uh, 2019, after the burial, when the father and the mother of Mazen Nandekano has been put in to breast, Simon Eber came to his program around 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. That was the day he made it open to the whole world. He said today he is recognizing Simon Nandekano as his leader. Go and check history. Since that day, he recognizing Nam De Kano as his leader. He has never stopped calling him his leader up till date. He has never stopped paying his loyalty to Mazen Nam De Kano. Rather, he is carrying out all the projects Nam De Kano put in line. But you people who volunteered yourself, you took a different oath to demote Simon Eber. You took a different oath to say that you will do everything to make sure that Simon Eber goes down. We are telling you that we know how this race is being run. If you took oath to demote Simon Eber, we will tell you that we will regain our oath to make Simon Eber we will lift him up the way we lifted him Nam the Kano. I stayed in this office you see today. Now, this one is my office where I broadcast. I stayed here. I sent information to Mbaka. When Mbaka was not supporting this program, go and check my history too. 
I have more than seven videos sending it to adoration ministry. Mbaka, come and join this struggle. We know where you made a mistake. Remove shame and join this struggle. Later on, Mbaka returned. When he returned, all those e rats whom their job is only to insult people, they wanted to continue to insult Mbaka. Mazen Nam the Kanu gave order. Don't do not insult Mbaka again. The same kind order he will give to you people whenever he comes out to all those e rats insulting Simon Eba today. Simon Eba is the one now who is hurting the blood of all their friends. Simon Eba is gingering everything. And again, let me tell you again. If you people are thinking that Mazen Nandekan is coming back to Radio Biafra, I am sorry to tell you that you are mistaken. Mazen Nandekan's message has finished. That's why he said, Unto thy spirit, O Lord, I commit my, I commit my soul. He declared 150 days prayer. He said, From now on, you people will begin to hear different things because a lot of things will be happening. A lot of things has happened. And the one thing that is happening that is very, very precious is those people who is mobilizing someone, mobilizing people to bring Simon Eber down, doesn't know that when they begin to bring Simon Eba down was the time they lifted him up. This is how you people sold the struggle to Simon Eba. You sold this struggle to Simon Eba unknowingly, without price. Without price, you sold it free of charge. A potter, because of he has a golden shoe. Golden cloth, drinking with golden cup, which he has already made before he joined the struggle. That is why you will be recruiting people to go up to insult Simon. Some people will stay in Austria. Some people will stay in Turkey. Some people will stay in Germany. They took it upon themselves to bring Simon Eber down. I ask you, what do you gain by bringing him down? If you say that Simon Eba has not done anything, listen to this interview. Mazen Nam de Kano congratulated him. He said, I congratulate you for searching out that history. When, because Nam de Kano doesn't know that Simon Eba has digged out the document he sent to United Nations. Go and read the history of Simon Eba in Google. Simon Eba is a criminology. He is a dictator. You understand now? If you don't know how dictatorship work, go and read well, go and watch the film of dictators. They will investigate anything that happened under the sun. Anything that happened under the sun, they will investigate it. You understand now? So, Simon Eber has every secret. So you, who is thinking that Simon Eber and then Nam the Kano is going to scratch themselves. My brother and sister, I am telling you, you are big, making big mistake. Nam the Kano is a symbol of peace. In Africa, the light of Africa. Let me tell you again. Charity begins at home. There is no way Nam the Kano will go against Simon Eba. A lot of secret has been revealed. And the way he talk, he will tell you he has Monton unrevealed. But now he is carrying on his agenda. I told you people, Ekerorweke, Iha Iketebu messenger. Not like those ones who said that they are the spiritual leader. Anybody who claim to be spiritual leader, you don't have language of peace, unity, togetherness, and the freedom inside you. You can never be a spiritual leader to lead Biafrans. 
what you are a destructive leader that mantle of peace was in your mouth you call yourself spiritual leader tell these people to go and they reconcile for them to move together what you do is to come and tell us that he bought shoe of one thousand dollars he bought shoe of one thousand euro he, he was drinking with golden cup i had someone in austria he said he hated simon for this very video in this very video you will hear when simon Epa told nandekano master if you are looking for 100 men count 50 in me and look for extra 50 because he confirmed himself that he is well loaded and then nandekano knew that he is well loaded nandekano cannot give us biafra alone Nandekano need people like Simon Epa to work together and the other people that understand this journey. There are preachers, there are people who dedicate themselves only to pray for Biafra. There are people who dedicate themselves to explain the spiritual meaning of Biafra. There are people who is made to become a, a, a gatekeepers. There are people who is inside the meeting, you will see them, they are the provost, they are the, um, they are the secretary, they a different dimension but pursuing one good but the people who is suffering so much in this Biafran struggle are the messengers because the messengers want to get the information clear before they can dedicate it before they will de deliver the the, the 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 message to the hearing of the whole world and even when we get some error we try to correct this error in front of our leaders inside our own zone they will tell you shut up if you shut me up how would i how would i go back to search for this history i pin it there if you want to correct your memory and divert your attention and fight this war which you have taken oath to to, to fight and defending land and the biafra spend two hour 18 minutes five seconds of your time then you will regain yourself and then you will know whether Simon Epa what you coming on social media to call him Simon Ibirima. Simon our forcesa. But all of us we have received all this insult, so it's not new thing to us. When we defended Nandekano in this office, we received a lot. That time, Nandekano, the kind of insult he have he received that time. The one, this one of Simon Epa said it's like open couple. But we know, we know how the history is run. We know the attack we will get before we come up here in this Facebook to tell you people. And we are here to keep the record straight. And the, the ones which I did, I cannot say here now, because I will make the video short so that people will be able to listen to it. The ones which I didn't say here now, you will hear it in that video. Again, anybody that will go against me, whether you coordinator, zona coordinator, DOS, HOD, autopilot, Simon or whatever, I want to tell you people one thing that will unite Biafra. One key you people have to use now. And this message, anybody that is a lover of Biafra, make sure you send it to your coordinator. Let them authorize it. If you know that you are under command and control, there is something we have been waiting for you people to command and they begin to control. You have not given us nothing, no other than to fold our hands. Now, when you go inside this profile, you will see that a lot of people are using the picture of Nam de Kano to insult people. All the insults we are receiving while we are trying to prove ourselves right are coming with the image and the photo of Mazen Nam de Kano. The name and the photo images of Nam de Kano should be kept holy. This is what Chukwoki Kabiyama said, I should tell you. Those people who call themselves spiritual leader, this is what the kind of message they should be digging out. Nobody recognized you as a spiritual leader because you are not spiritual leader. There is no truth in your mouth.
For all inside you is division. A spiritual leader supposed to have truth in his mouth. Remove jealousy, enviness, and the anger. Greediness should go out of your body. You, who is saying you will bring someone down, you are not spiritual leader. You should instead the, the message of truth, the message of peace, the message of togetherness, the message of harmony, and the message of freedom. Without freedom, unity, the Afra can never hold. Because Nam de Kano is the symbol of unity. Tell me how Nam de Kano will go against someone ever. I bet anything I have. Tell me with any evidence why Nam de Kano will go against someone ever. You people are making big mistake. Big mistake. Retrace your step. If you know all those people you sacked. You know all those people you sacked. And the, the people who provoke all this attack are the people using Nam de Kanu image. Command and control. Autopilot. DOS. Should make law. Nobody should use the image of Nam de Kanu to send thunder to anybody again. Nobody should use the image of Unnam de Kano to insult anybody again. If you want to insult someone, use your own picture. Stop using the image of someone all of us took out to protect, to insult people. The name of Unnam de Kano and the image of Unnam de Kano should be keep holy. It should be made holy because Biafra is a spirit and the Biafra is a religion. I got a revelation in 2019 that Biafra will soon have their own Bible. If you believe that a white man bring you religion to destroy you, then you should plan how to create your own Jesus. Holy, holy, holy. Nandekanu is another savior. Don't you know the translation of it? Can you use the image of Jesus Christ to say, thunder fire you? Can you use the image of Jesus Christ to, to, to destroy one another? Can you use the image of Jesus Christ to lay insult to someone? They tell you imitate Christ-like. If you want to use the image of Unnam de Kano, you have to put sense inside people. Every of your comments should be in line to what we bring peace, unity, togetherness, and freedom to, uh, to this very race. Not you using the image of Nandekano sending thunder to people who is trying to crack their brain like Simon Eba is cracking his brain today with all the people supporting him. The people we met today now cracking their brain is only from autopilot. Ask your papa in the village. Ask your mama in the village. Ask everybody, anybody all over the world. The person serving the interest of the people now is the members of autopilot. I supposed to be an autopilot member the day they declared autopilot. But I wait. Because some now they cannot say, Okwagaka, Ogosigebe Gada. That's why we are waiting for them. Trying to correct the error before we come here and lay their blame on them. We waited on them for them to take their decision not to listen and give us suspension. Now we are sharing the message. They still have time to repent and unite this family as fathers because DOS are the fathers to this organization. They must put this law first. Nobody should use the image of Nandekanu to insult people. This is where I am backing up my message. I am using the name of Chupo Ikabiyama to back my, to, to use this word, this prophecy now, to back my message so that nobody will send anything illegal in this place now. Don't use the image of Onan Dekanu to insult people. Use your own image. Or you can use the image of all those people who dedicate themselves to bring Simon Eba down. To lay the insult. When we see it, we know that insult is coming. But we cannot see the image of Unnam de Kano. We think that someone wants to write something reasonable. When you open the letter, it will be insult. This is an insult to the person you claim you love. It is an insult to the person you claim you are dying for. 
it is an insult to the person you that make that gave you sleepless night stop this thing and again dos hod every one of you you still have opportunity for reconciliation and you call my no no fufu but if you people think that nam de kano we go against simon i am standing here in the sun to tell you people maneke orie afo mpo u bosi na no nizu ka ndi igbo the day nam de kano will come out he will he will give simon eba he will serve him a hot tea with the diamond cup not only golden cup with the diamond cup he will say my beloved son the day simon eba declared himself declared that in the is his leader was after the burial of the parents of mazen nandekano ask him he will tell you it is the truth if you don't know how to follow history keep short and they follow up if you are still against simon eba watch this video after watching it you go down again you watch the one he did with the president of ambazonia simon eba was wearing golden shirt that day so it was it was not the money you people claim that the nigerian government umahi or whoever paid him gave him that money or you go to his net worth his net worth is more than four million dollars he made this thing and if you say it's a lie go and challenge google for google to bring it down you understand and the people is there crying calling oku obi kubano and the, every other rich activist in biafra land to come and they join the struggle do you know why they cannot join the struggle it is because of this kind of insult which simon is receiving today that was why obi kubano e money and all the rest of them cannot join the struggle because Igbo people bear me mete there is nothing you can do in this world that will please an Igbo man Someone ever had made his life before he joined this struggle. Nnam Dekanu knew that they have sold him, but he said, after you have collected money and they frustrate this struggle, you will end up fighting for the same thing. You collected money to sabotage. Everything happening today, all the people, both to family, DOSO, autopilot, Simon, everybody turned back, fighting for the same thing they have been accused of. This is what they called prophecy fulfilled. Udo Dirunu, because we are messengers of Biafra, because we believe in Biafra religion. We stand on the truth and we say the truth anywhere we stop. If angels of God, angels of Chukwekabia will deliver a message to us, we will deliver it without fearing no man. The time we defended the Namdekano, we fear no man. Today, Namdekano has been vindicated. And we will do everything until Simon Eba will be vindicated as well. We don't know.